Hello traders, welcome to LS Blue. This is Tiffany Gogoi, and in this video, I'll discuss about the Bank Nifty. So, before uh, we start uh, this video, if you want to read this blog about the LS Blue, we are posting various international events. Like here, you can read a global economic data. So, we can read the properly here by visiting LS Blue blo uh, blog. So, another here at IQ page when you will visit to Ant, and here you will get the option here and IQ and you can read the various trading strategy which is uh, posting here so you can read properly various indicator how to use the indicator uh, combination of indicator you can read here right and uh, so you can start uh, so you can see this one bank nifty and I think you remember this one bank nifty so I think uh, you remember uh, two to three days ago before uh, when they created this area like this one. So at that time, so I draw a range, right? Trading range. I think you remember this one. Uh, this is the trading range, and I told that the market will run in between these range. So you can see here in between this range. So market is running in between this range, lower low, lower high. Oh, sorry higher low uh, uh, lower high so now you can see here right now last three days they're running the same uh, range right so today you can see I draw another line here you can see let me uh, so in the daily chart so daily uh, in a daily chart I draw a line by connecting the previous higher point so you can see this was the previous high point this was previous high point and this is uh, was previous high point so here you can say this is uh, low, uh, higher low higher low so I connected it's a higher low to higher low and previous uh, lower high right you can see so in between here they're forming a triangle shape right so here you can see this is a strong support accordingly diagonal uh, diagonal line right okay this is diagonal line and this is diagonal so there when we connected to uh, area so you can see they are forming a triangle set right so here you can see this is the last point of bearish market right so in that case i will draw a horizontal line here by connecting supporting line so when we are connecting the supporting line so we have to observe the market is there any another supporting area support and resistant area so here we are not able to find any support and resistant so that is why I just pull down this area to this red line have you seen this is a red line so when we connected so you can see this was a resistant in this candle in this day this was resistant this was support support and here you can see this is a support so now I just uh, draw a line here to find out the supporting point of bank nifty that is why uh, I draw that line okay so here you can see now in 15 minute when it comes to 15 minute so you can see here right so now you can see uh, we have seen this one 26,739 we got that supporting line and another diagonal yeah, this is horizontal supporting line and this was uh, diagonal uh, supporting line right so in that case the market might reverse toward this area right so in between we have seen a gap so this is a range of supporting line so here you can see so if the market comes in this area we don't sell it right we don't take any sell position in this area because they might give a retracement to this area from this area they will give eh? uh, like a market will reverse from this area right 
so that is why you can see continuous uh, coming row next level so people will think like that it will come like that so they will think that it will break and come down but no it is a strong supporting line so when we will get the level of 26,800 so stop selling from this area right so where is your entry point today if you want to enter in this market so it will be a very risky in this area for the sell position so you can see previously tosses area supporting tosses area here little more here so it will be a strong support if you sell it so market might reverse from this area so it is very risky so if you want to get any opportunity near above resistance line or, or sorry near uh, below resistance line start selling and target will be around 26,800 right so if market they gone up to this level again reverse toward this area so if they break this upper 200 moving average so start buying to target will be around 27,500 right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching